Hey there, Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Today we're gonna make a cat toy out of some t-shirt string. And this cat toy is actually good for both feline and human together play, but it's also good um, for alone time play um, as it has a nice thick body for them to grab onto. On cue, Gremlin. Well, he's not gonna do it now, but um, it has a, a great body there that they can grab onto and kick with their back feet. Thanks, Grim. So for this tutorial, you'll need two simple things. You'll need an old t-shirt and you'll need a pair of scissors um, that are good for cutting fabric. So you're going to go ahead and make some t-shirt yarn. Um, I've actually done tutorials on this before how to make ribbons, um, but there's a really great tutorial on Releve.com that I'll show you really quickly on how to cut a continuous strip of t-shirt um, that people will use for knitting, crocheting, that sort of thing, but we're going to um, just use the really long strings for making this cat toy. So the first thing you're going to do is fold your t-shirt after you've laid it flat almost completely in half. Try to make sure your seams are lined up, mine aren't perfect. So you're going to bring the um, the bottom edge to within an inch or two of the, well, let's say two inches of the top hem there. And what you're going to do is first remove this um, hem at the bottom because that won't curl very nicely and we'll need to curl this in order to use it. So just trim that away and set it aside. Okay. Once you have a nice flush edge there, you're going to start cutting it about one inches. I'm really bad at guesstimating measurements, so I'm going to say that's an inch. And you're going to cut as straight as you can, just past where that first t-shirt fold is. So you want to snip the first one, but not the second one. Okay? And you're going to continue to do that all the way up your t-shirt. So once you get to the armpit portion of the shirt, you're just going to go ahead and continue cutting all the way to the end to separate the body of the t-shirt from the top half of it and just set that aside. Okay. Now you're going to open this up where this, um, where the fold is. Just put your hand in there. You want to try to Keep it from getting too tangly, because it will get a little octopus-like here. Alright. So, you now have this t-shirt with all of these strips that aren't quite done yet. So in order to make... Oops! Sorry about that, guys. In order to make this a continuous strip of yarn, you're going to start from the edge of your t-shirt and cut straight over to your next cut, just like so. Okay, and then from the same side that you started cutting, you're going to cut here to the next one on the opposite side. And you'll see it start to unravel on the floor into a big pile of this um, t-shirt strips. It's not quite yarn just yet, so We'll cut one more and then I'll show you how to turn it into yarn. Okay. Alright. So, here's the end piece of your yarn. With cat hair all over it. Doesn't matter, it's going to be a cat toy. Just give it a tug. Or two. And you'll see what a nice little seam that puts in it. And then you'll just continue doing this all the way to the end of your yarn. So go ahead and make your yarn, and we'll get started on the cat toy part. Okay, once you have all of your yarn made, I'm actually going to use two different colors just so that you can see what I'm doing better. Plus it looks pretty cool, so you know, go ahead and use two colors or use one, whichever you like. But before we get started, I do want to say, as a disclaimer, as any other cat toy that you'd buy in the pet store, there's always the fine print that says your cat shouldn't be left 
to play unattended, so just keep that in mind. Um, it's just a t-shirt, but who knows? I have cats who chew wires, so, you know, know your cat and make sure you're being safe. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to start with two long lengths of ribbon. I've cut, you can cut them the same length. I have them cut about um, seven feet. One's at seven feet, one's at six feet. Once you get them cut, uh, fold them both in the middle and bring the middles together to form a loop and then tie a knot. Alright, so once you have your knot, you want sort of a loop knot. This gives you a place to not only um, hook it while you're um, macrameing, I guess is what this is going to be, but it also gives you a place when you're playing, you have a little place to hold and um, wiggle your toy around. You can also, if you make it big enough, put it around a doorknob so it's hanging um, for your cat to play wherever they'd like. So basically, I'm going to hang this. I have a cardboard box on my tabletop with a binder clip, and I'm just going to stick that loop up in there. Okay, so you're going to take two of your cords. I'm using the two black ones just to keep everything simple. And you're going to hold those in the middle. And these two cords are basically not going to move during the macrame process at all. Um, and they're not going to get really any shorter. The pieces that will get shorter are the two on the end, so my two red ones. And you're going to make your loops around the black. So here's a basic square knot. You're going to take one side and hold it over the center cords and then hold that out just a little bit. Take your other red cord and put it over that last red cord. Now you're going to take it underneath both of these cords again so that it comes up through this loop. And basically what you're doing is tying a knot around this black piece. So slip this up into here and pull it through. And then you're just going to gently start to pull that together into a knot form onto your black piece up to the top. And the hardest part for me, especially now that I'm talking, is remembering what side I left off on. So then you're going to go to the next side and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put that over the black one, this second cord over the first red one, and then up through this other loop. And start to tie that up as well. And then the same thing over, over, and then under and through. And start to tie it up. Okay, and then to your next side. And you'll start to get faster the more you do it and you won't have to be as uh, precise about it. But look at the fun pattern that black and red makes. So over, over, and under. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue doing this, but you don't have to watch me. Go ahead and get your materials together. Get this made, and when we get to the bottom, I'll come back and show you how to finish it. Okay, we're getting close to the bottom, and I'm actually going to stop on this one and leave four strings dangling. My last one only had the two center ones, but I like the size of my body right now. So I'm going to show you one more little um, trick, and then we're going to tie this off and we'll be done. So I was saying before that um, I have a hard time sometimes remembering which side I have to do next. So here's my little trick. Going through high school I always had these weird little games to remember things. So um, here's my weird little game. Forgive me for the craziness that you're about to listen to. So you have these two strings and you have one that looks like it's jumping out of the, um, out of the bird or the cat toy. So it's sort of coming forward. And then there's this one that's sort of headed towards the back. So this one looks like the one, oh, it's screaming, me, 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 take me. Don't take that one. I've never been much of a give attention to those who are asking for it. So ignore that one. Grab this one. And that's the one you're going to use to go over. The other one you put over that and through. So if that makes any sense or if I just made myself really crazy, I apologize. But I've always needed things like mnemonic uh, games and 
all kinds of weird things to try to remember what I was doing. So anyway, when you get to the end, you can just take your two strings and tie off those knots in the back of your toy. Of course, this is for your cat, so they really don't care where the knot is. <laughs> so just make a single knot and then make another knot. So it's a double knot and it doesn't come undone. It's The square knot's a pretty good uh, knot. won't typically come undone by itself anyway, but if you have a crazy cat like some of mine, they might start to unravel. So just pull that nice and tight. And then look at that. Your toy is done. There's the completed toy, and it has all these strings way down here um, that your cat can have all kinds of fun with, especially when you're playing with them. So there it is. Enjoy.